Hey everybody, it's Josh again. Welcome back to Cult of a Lamb, Since the Flesh. In the last episode, we managed to do a few more things here at the cult, including invite this new follower, Sozo. And it seems he has a side quest. Sozo was just here, all alone, thinking about mushrooms. Uh, Sozo means Sozo's little mushroom followers. Sure you do. Yes, they must be so lost without Sozo. They love Shoujo. Everyone loves Shoujo. Especially Lamb. Without their great and beloved Shoujo, Mushroomos must be so scared. You! You must save them. Save them and bring them to Shoujo. They will be trapped in Anora. They are always getting captured when they don't have their great Shoujo to protect them. Rescue them and bring them to me! Okay, so he wants us to go find a Mushroomo in Anora. So that's a new side quest. So yeah, in the last episode, re we resurrected Sozo from the dead. And he's still alone. Yeah, wouldn't you know it, he does not change, even after resurrecting. Also, my wife Asherina definitely did not die in the last episode, because here she is. So anyway, also in the last episode, I let you guys vote on who should be the ones to mate in the mating tent. And out of the whole actual one of you who actually voted, and for some reason it wasn't a YouTuber follower, it was actually a Steam follower that actually decided who should mate. So before I reveal who that is, it seems it's also Happy Chinese New Year! So yes, if you get blueprints celebrating the Year of the Dragon. At least that's what uh, Chinese New Year celebrates in 2024. So we have Fortuitous Lantern, Fortuitous Statue, and Fortuitous Tree. So yeah, three new blueprints to celebrate Chinese New Year. Oh. And that just got destroyed. Whoop, well, gotta build a new one. So yeah, here's a close-up of them, in case you didn't see them earlier. So yeah, first I need to get some things out of the way, because, well, they're kind of required to do so. First, I'm going to build a new one of these. And while they're building that, I'm going to go ahead and head back in here. Because I'm going to do another sermon. And then, to help get the chances up of them mating, you can actually perform the Lust Ritual, but unfortunately it's on cooldown right now. So apparently I can't do that. At least not right now. Because I looked at their percentage rating before doing this, and apparently they have a 90% chance. So whoever chose these two was actually pretty smart to let them do it. And then, just go ahead and upgrade the lumber yard because that's going to need to be done. Also, we can unlock something new here. Uh, drink house 2. Stores more drinks! Yeah, I have yet to build that too. Also, I need to get enough wooden planks in order to actually uh, get something else I want to build. What have I not yet crafted? Have I crafted the, uh... Uh, no I have not. I have not crafted the uh, other one yet. The, uh, the confession booth. Also, the stone mine ran out now, so I'm gonna build that. First things first. Uh, confession booth... I don't have enough wood planks. And then drink house. Dang, I need wood planks for a lot of things. I wish you could hurry up with that, Narinder. One other thing I also want to build is the upgraded hatchery. Yeah, because I still need more wood planks to get that. Oh yeah, there is something I could do to kind of speed it up a bit. 
I also need to upgrade the stone mine. Hold on. Need to upgrade the stone mine. There we go. I can actually speed it up a bit. Oh, didn't want to talk to you. By pressing the L button on my keyboard. That way I can meditate and time goes by a little bit faster. Yeah, that kind of helps out a bit. A little bit more. Right. I think I have enough planks to upgrade the hatchery now. Finish building that. Oh, we have a side quest from Clauncher. Listen, leader, I'll cut to the chase. I want to be the loyalty enforcer. Let me prove that I'm the right person for the job. Alright, so Clauncher wants to take over my wife's old job of being the loyalty enforcer. Well, I can see why that is. I mean, Clauncher is a water type Pokemon, so I guess I can go ahead and do that. So the lust is still on cooldown for a bit, so... I'll probably need to fast forward time a little bit more before I want to do what I want to do. So, Clutcher, here we go. My new loyalty enforcer. Alright. <laughs> Apparently that lowers fate considering you... They didn't like that. You want to be a great leader. I am eternally grateful. And you level up in loyalty. Awesome. Good work, Clutcher. Alright. Let's make some more wood planks. Apparently, I'm gonna need a lot of those. I think I got plenty of wood and stone. Okay, let's speed things up a little bit more. Build the con yeah, but can build the confession booth now. Because that way I can build up their loyalty and also build up their sin as well. So I can put it right here. I completely forgot that I hadn't built that yet. I also don't think I've built the upgraded missionary, missionary level 3. Oh, that's a lot of gold bars I need. Okay, never mind then. That's not gonna happen. <laughs> uh, get rid of the smaller room me, because I don't need it. At least give me some more money back. Also, is it now time for me to perform the Lustful Ritual? I believe that's gonna increase their chances of mating. Yes, I can do it. All right. Everyone, dump your duds! <laughs> and now choose the Mayflower leader. Uh, I'll let it be Fennekin again. <laughs> Almost filled up her sim meter entirely. <laughs> or his, whatever. Whichever one it is. But anyway, now that they're, the Rite of Lust is active, it's more likely that they will mate together. So, I will now re reveal who voted and which ones are going to mate. Oh, you're kidding me, I don't have enough sin? Okay. Well then. Hmm. Uh... Well, Fennigan's close, so I'm gonna do her. So I believe it's a random symbol at first, and then the sin symbol. That's a second, when it does this. Now to absolve your sin, save you. There we go. Now I have what I need. Now it's time to reveal. So, a big shout out to Wholesome Gamer Seven on Steam who helped me with this voting thing. So he suggested Letty Ba and Incineroar, mostly because he saw Incineroar has the lustful trait. So. Also that the Rite of Lust is active, they now have a complete chance to breed, 100%, which means it's guaranteed. Uh. Alright, 
And what's also funny is you can choose which traits that the baby will have. Kind of like the in Pokemon, that, where the baby Pokemon shares the traits of the parents. So let's see. Ascetic. Ascetic. Uh, unrepentant. Uh, lustful. Naturally obedient. Uh, let's go with lustful and unrepentant. And there we go. Our first official Pokemon egg. And of course, after they're done, they will get extremely tired because apparently that takes a lot of energy. So there we go, you go to sleep. Put this in the hatchery. Or the incubator, as I like to call it. And you can also care for the egg, like, at least, at least once a day. I think after every 24 hours or so, it lets you care for the egg. And eventually this egg is going to hatch. So let's see... What can I unlock with the Divine Inspiration now? Seed storage. After a crusade... no, not this. Uh... Instead, let's get... The Empowered Shrine of Disciples. Disciples pray at the shrine to give you boost while crusading. So my only disciple, Asherina, can pray at this to help me out on my crusades. And that will unlock Collected Shrine of Disciples. Which is another disciple building. So before I actually head on my next crusade to go rescue uh, that Mushroomo, uh, let's see. Dang, I've run out of money. Probably because I spent so much money on those new seeds that Rakshasa gave me. Hmm. Actually, they shouldn't go on a quest just yet. Instead, let's go ahead and head to Anura and go rescue that Mushroomo. And of course, starting off with Dagger. So starting off, we got frogs, of course. Of course we get frogs first. We always get frogs here in the north. Although I'm starting to like this Dagger rate ability. So yeah, I think before the heavy attacks update and the fact that they add those guys with shields, I think the hammer's heavy attack is my least favorite because it takes so long to use. And the fact that I can never hit those little mini follower lackeys with it. More frogs. At least with the dagger rain, you just kind of aim in a straight line. Okay, fuck is ready for another sermon, so it's a new day. Oh, I forgot to switch my fleece. I'm so dumb because no! I still have these statues now. And apparently they lead to something. I believe I forgot to do that. Oh well. I'll do that when we make it back. So let's become immune to poison. Oh what the? Oh, it's a good thing I got the immune to poison because now we have a new frog enemy that spits poison. I'm gonna get some more resources, because apparently I'm starting to run out of food. And that's a no good for my followers. Ow! Ran to my own rock drop. Ran to the own rock drop I set off. Such a dummy. Moron! There we go. And yeah, there's a trinket. I think this is the, yeah, the exorcist thinker. Summon a demon! And that's the Bomber Demon. Okay, let's go. Die, frogs. Die, evil frogs. There we go. So I need to remember when I get back, I need to switch to another fleece that actually has red hearts. Oh, and speaking of the follower lackeys earlier, one of them has a shield, so... There we go. Of course, the frickin' fly spawners I hate. Okay, now let's get rid of the guys in the upper corner. There we go. Yeah, that's the end of this dungeon. 
So the Mushroomo is just up ahead. Let's go. Oh, he's about to be sacrificed too. Well, you guys aren't gonna have mushrooms today. Heck it! Please accept our sacrifice and bless us with fertile souls and bountiful harvest. Keep the famine at bay. Well, unfortunately, famine's on my team now, so you guys are gonna have to pray to me. I am your new master. Oh, stupid archer. Two more phases. Oh, can't believe I didn't dodge out of that. Where that frog bat? This frog. One more wave of enemies. Ow. It's time to save the mushroomo. For Sozo. Yeah, I forgot that I never came to this room either. Like back in the original. Apparently there's a dungeon up ahead. Yeah. Actually, now that I've made it this far in the dungeon and rescued that mushroomo, I think it's time for me to head back. Mostly because I forgot to get my <laughs> change my place, so I can't get whatever's in that other room. Escaped. I don't care that much. At least I can indoctrinate that mushroom on now. Because this is a unique follower, I'm probably just gonna keep his name Mushroomo. Yeah, 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 you say the same thing everyone else does. Uh, yeah, I'll just keep you like this. Because there's a re there's actually a reason I don't really want to. Uh, do much with him. I mean, Sozo wanted him to be here, but I'm feeling something's gonna happen now that he's here. Chopping down that tree. Oh, Narinder, what do you have to say? Pathetic lab. This is what your laborers have wrought. This place holds not a single candle to the magnificence of my temple, now gone. Build a skull candle. Okay. So that's what he wants me to do, just build a skull candle. I guess I can do that. To go to decorations. Skull candle. Only takes one stone. Simple enough. I guess I can put it right here next to the demonic summoning circle. <laughs> Followers are still under the fast ritual, so. Oh, yeah, I need to talk to you. Oh, Lamb, you are so kind to Mushroomo. So kind. Sozo will take it from here. Uh, I'm not sure if I want you to take it from here. Oh, yeah, and the render side quest, too. Adequate. <laughs> Didn't want to talk to you again. I want to get this out of the way. Mushroom of just eating my Sozo! Oh god! Well, now you know why I didn't want to keep. <laughs> well, didn't want to customize him. So apparently, Mushroom uh, Sozo is also a cannibal for eating his followers. Horrific. Anyway, collected shrine of disciples. Disciples will collect devotion from other structures within radius and deposit it here. Alright, and that only leaves leader 10. Seed storage and fertilizer storage left. After that, I think it'll just go back to the god tiers. Alright, so now let's go ahead and see what we got over here. Oh, yeah, still have plenty of fertilizer. I guess next I should build the fertilizer storage, that way I just can get rid of all this. Uh, can we, we can also do the the drum circle. Let's see. 
I can do it with Zubat. Let's play some drums. Plague of Dancing! <laughs> That was enough for another sin thingy. I guess I could just call it a sin snake. And it's nighttime now, so now they're gonna go to sleep. And so so how could you? You're so You're just something else. You are without a doubt the craziest character in this game, I bet. Let me see what else I need to build. So let's see. I need gold bars and planks for that. Gold bars, gold bars. Dang! Gold bars for pretty much everything. I still need a hop to build the drink house. Just one thing I could do is just go ahead and plant a hop seed. Just a few of these. I guess I could plant some grapes, too. Alright. I guess I'll go catch some fireflies, too. Surprised Solzo doesn't go to sleep. He's so crazy he doesn't need sleep. Alright, it's a new day. Now what do you want? They did know Mushroom or had to <gasps> leave. Yes, yes, he had to leave. I mean it had to get eaten. But Sozo knows where there are others. That must bring Sozo more. Yes? Yes. <laughs> Another one? If you're gonna do that same thing, then I don't think you deserve any more mushrooms, buddy. You deny Sozo? You hate Sozo? Then Sozo hates you too! No! No! You have to have Sozo! You have to! Sozo begs! Sozo needs the mushroom! Give Sozo mushroom! And now he's something. So that means you have to go to prison. That's what you get. Fine, lock Sozo up. Sozo would rather be in prison forever than see stupid lab. You're only saying that because you're insane. <laughs> you need to get him off these mushrooms somehow. That's okay. Hopefully he'll learn his lesson. Ooh, what plank? Also, fuel the fire. There's gotta be some other things I haven't crafted. Something more easy to craft. Uh, grand shelters. Yeah, I still need gold bars for a lot of these. Hmm. Yeah, unfortunately, there's nothing else I could do right now. It appears Arcanine has reached old age, so let's go ahead and see what I can do here. Preach a sermon. <laughs> They're still skipping out. You know, I think the Lustful Witch Wall is ended. Oh no, that could just be a bug. Okay, let's see. Rituals. Uh, probably shouldn't do this, even because I'm low on money right now. Wait. Yeah, I can do this one. The Ritual of Enrichment. I've given you money plenty of times. Now it's your turn to give to me. Thank you all for your generous donation. And 
and now to bring their faith up again somehow. Uh, yeah, I can do this one. Because it looks like Arcanine's getting old anyway. <laughs> Go, Arcanine! May Arceus bless your soul! Oh no. Guys, let's pretend that never happened. Dang, I could probably feel level up more for that. <laughs> awesome! I got their faith up a bit. Uh, let's see. Anything else? Yeah, I could do the feasting ritual. I'm starting to run out of bones, though. Alright, there we go. They're all happy again. Get some more coins out of that. So let's see. Where the follower made. Shamora's still busy with that. I guess while they're busy doing all that. I guess I can go ahead. Oh, wait. I forgot the whole reason I went into the temple in the first place. To change the police. I'm going to switch over to. The Fleece of a Natural. Just to be more with the DLC. There we go. Now we have a leaf for a fleece. <laughs> and now. Uh, I was about to say let's enter Purgatory, but let's go ahead and head into Darkwood again. I'm choosing this because of the resources. At least I get my favorite colors. Alright, this there's no guys with shields. This has just fireball towers and bats. I need to be on the lookout for one of those statues again. Because now that I have some red hearts with me, I should be able to do what I need to do for that one room. So we can see what it looks like. Oh, jumper worms. Get back. Get back, you big follower lackey. Dropped a bomb. Oh, I didn't realize there was a summoner right there. I completely ignored that guy. Thankfully he ignored me too, because he didn't seem to be doing anything. Is there a statue in this room? No, there is not. Okay, so I'll move on. Oh no, there's a guy with a shield. Okay, at least I timed that one good. Oh, there's another one. Are you kidding me. Get away from me. I got the other ones first. Hmm, which I use in the river to my advantage. Nope, that didn't work. Nope, that didn't work. Oh, come on, I hit that guy. The river is not going to my advantage. There we go. Now kill him. Surprised I didn't get hit by him that time. True sight, critical in chance. Okay, you, you. See. Was there a statue in this room? No, there wasn't. I didn't think I see a statue in this room, so let's keep looking. Spikes. Oh. There we go. Not 
seeing any statues in that room. Let's try the other way. There we go. You, you know those guys. Oh, Mr. Jumpy here. Also, it's also Neo's are playing the regular Darkwood music now. Like before getting to the Relics of the Old Faith update. Oh no, it's no, no, it's playing the other one. Never mind. I thought it was playing the original before the Relics of the Old Faith update. It's not anymore. Oh, this was the dead end. Thought I saw another room back there. Alright, let's move on. Let's see, what's up ahead? Dungeon. Uh, there's another grapes room. Uh, let's get a follower. Oh, it's another. Uh, it's another one of those poppy dogs. Die, Archer. What? Thought I hit you, Archer. There, hit the Archer that time. I was about to say, how did my camera like face through him? I remember one time in Relics of the Old Faith that bugged out when I thought I knocked away one of the Archers, and then it, it turned out he was just lying on his back and I couldn't hit him. Anyway, I shall not rescue you. Let's get some extra bones. There's any more materials around here? Doesn't look like it, so let's move on. I could go back to the tailor shop. Slay in more ways than one with Barif's Boutique, and I don't have enough gold bars. I can get some materials from destroying his stuff. Like those silk threads. Unfortunately, I think it's five gold bars you have to do. More bats. <laughs> he got hit by the spikes. Now two can has reached old age. There we go. Claw next in this room. What you got for me? Ah, reveal the map. At least with this update, the map will actually become useful. Wait a minute. According to the map, it says there's a room I missed back up here. So there was a statue? Oh no, it's just this thing. Yeah, unfortunately I'm just gonna take your gold. I'm not gonna give you any offerings. Let's see. I don't believe there was... yeah, that was a normal room. At least with the map I could tell if there was a secret room now. Oh, of course, these guys. Crap, now I'm gonna get killed. Well, because all of them have shields. Wait, can this work? Well, that does barely anything to them. At least I got two of their shields. Unfortunately, it only works if you do it at the right time. Apparently, it doesn't work if you hit from behind. Got another shield. Another shield. Got one more. Crap. There we go. May have hit me, but at least I got rid of the shield. I'm starting to like the hammer less and less because of these shielded guys. 
another one with the shield. This is only one this time. I feel like they only get close enough to you to get just to attack. So you gotta be careful with your timing. More hammers. Uh, go with the critical hit one. Like that one better. So that must mean the secret room must be at the boss room. My inspiration unlocked. Thank you. Uh, spike worm. Right, where is the secret? It seems like the secret room is over this way. Before we try to get to it, let's go get a tarot card. So why not? 20% more damage during the day. Yeah, the secret room is near this room, because I see the statue. Ow. Oh, the statue's active now. Ooh, we got some a piece of Klonix hair. Alright, now let's see what this room does. Because apparently it requires a red heart to do. Oh, creepy. Requires a pound of his own flesh. So why is it given return? A tablet? Ancient Tablet 1. Writings from a time long past. I meant only to survive. And yet she, feathered hand of the great ones gone, has seen me to be worthy. Oh, first gods, guide me. I devote myself to you. Holy, body and soul. I will strike down descent. I will cold doubt. I will nourish this crown and be worthy of this power. In blood, I swear. Oh, unlocked lore? Oh, you didn't tell me there was lore in this game. Oh, great. Now I gotta find all of these? I await one who values truth over all else. So I'm guessing I gotta come back to these dungeons and find the rest of those tablets, is what he's saying. Anyway, let's go fight a boss, since we're here. Rematch with the Abdusius Part 2! Alright, finally beat him. Get some cotton seeds. Get some extra bones and move on. Time to head back to the cult. Look at a little bruised. Heretic's defeated. Right, back at Team Aqua once again. Let's see. My inspiration unlocked. I guess I'll go ahead and get the fertilizer storage. After a crusade to spot a fertilizer here, our followers will automatically distribute it to fertilizer silos. Cool. Still got... Okay, that was weird. I just somehow got out for us a quick second. <laughs> Thought you could try to escape, eh? Well, it's time to re-educate you again. Mushroom of his head is gone. Doctor Sazonius. Oh, where am I? Where is my family? My name is Doctor Sazonius. I was researching the mushroomos that live in Spore Grotto. Strange creatures, neither animal nor plant. They gave me medicine mushrooms, and then, well, that's the last thing I remember. Can't help but feel that I have you to thank for. Something. You have my loyalty. I will remain here and serve you. Please, take this. And it gives you a new follower form! The Mushroomo follower form! 
Yeah, it was the mushrooms that were making him go insane. So without them, he's just an ordinary old guy. A doctor, to be exact. Awesome. Hey, get out of my kitchen, spiders. Oh! One of them dropped something. That's some kind of spider skull. Uh, I need to get rid of this somehow. Ah, here it is. Body pit. Might as well... Don't want these just to get rid of it. Okay, let's go ahead and just drop this in this body pit because I don't need it. Oh, what the? Whoa! New follower! It's Weber from Don't Starve! And he gives me a bunch of blueprints from Don't Starve together. I believe it's finally time that I unlock these. Also, apparently Weber has a side quest. Great leader, I have already given you everything I own to you. Now I wish to also give my life. You just got here! <laughs> you gave me nothing! And now you want to be sacrificed. Oh, whatever. <laughs> okay. I'm starting to think Weber might be crazier than Sozo. And let's be honest, that's not true. Sosa is definitely the craziest. Well, at least now that he's Dr. Sazonius again, at least now he's sane. Did you stop clicking on that? He's trying to catch the butterflies. Or, not butterflies, uh... The, uh... The fireflies. Oh! It looks like the egg is ready to hatch! Ah! And I get the sin back that I used for this. <laughs> so we have a gray... So we have a gray cat. Hmm. Well, it's a descendant of Ladybug, but looks more like Incineroar. So, uh... Hmm. What to name you? Tora Cat. The middle evolution of Litten and Incineroar, considering I already have a Litten. So there we go. And also, you can now nurture the child. <laughs> that way, you can increase its loyalty level. And it goes up a full level every time you do this. I believe you can do this once a day. Oh, new music, too. So, let's kind of read the baby's mind. Let me see. Just hatched. So bright. Wow, it's crazy out here. <laughs> I love my family, I love my cult, I love my leader. Well, glad you do. So yeah, we have our first baby Pokemon. Let's get all these materials. some of these, because I need to get some more food, like, ASAP. Oh, Clunter's reached old age. Why did I make it my loyalty enforcer, then? Oh yeah, I need to do that one. Uh, in that case, maybe I should, uh, remake Osharina, my loyalty enforcer. Apparently she lost her job when she definitely did not die in the last episode. There we go. Well, I'm starting to think Narinder might be a better or Leshy, considering they don't die of old age. At least not right now. But anyway. Let's go ahead and do the Sacrifice of the Flesh, because even though Weber just spawned here, <laughs> he wants to be sacrificed, so not gonna argue. If that's what you want. Here you go, Cthulhu. First spider meat.
Well, that was definitely something, wasn't it, guys? And now for a sermon. Now I get some loyalty rewards. Alright, thank you all. Also, Dr. Sazonius is probably gonna die soon, considering he's at old age. But at least he lived a happy life. Or mostly. <laughs> considering he doesn't remember much from the mushrooms. Oh yeah, and uh Lediba forgot to talk. Oh I'll take care of that. I need to talk to Lediba considering it. Wait. Oh yeah, I forgot. When they're sacrificed, you can't get the warp one, so you have to get it from someone else. <laughs> And they're just walking away. Okay, my inspiration locked. Now I can get the seed storage. Basically, I like the fertilizer storage, except it does it with seeds. Alright. With that, the only thing left to unlock is the leader tent. Which, I'm a god, so I don't really need the leader tent. I mean, I don't need to sleep. Although... If you are playing on the new Penitence mode, you will need to build that in order to get some proper sleep. Ooh, nice. Broom of Green. Ooh! That's cool looking. Anyway, let me go ahead and, uh... I need to get rid of that body pick, because I don't really need it anymore. Thank you. And then to finish this episode off... I guess I'll go ahead and head back to uh, Purgatory one more time. And let's do a boss rush again. Yeah, let's do this one, the Golden Fleece. Damage dealt increases after each kill, but resets when- oh, I said no, maybe not. Uh... Let's try this one. No hearts will spawn, but heal using Favor to regenerate health. So I'll try this one out. So we got. So we got a Silk Cradle boss first. And we got the Godly Dagger. And the Divine Blight, which is the Poison Blast. To start out, we have Vepar. Vepar down. Uh, definitely want to switch to the Vampire Sword. Next, we got a Darkwood boss. And Dusius! Easy, easy, easy. <laughs> He's in the middle of the slow motion mode. Uh, Merciless Blunder boss. Strike of the Crown. Taurus Tentacle. Uh, Strike of the Crown. Next, we have two Anora bosses. First we have Zephar. There we go. Alright, we can choose Calamar Zier or uh Now let's get the Apostles Cleaver. I like the axe. And then one more Neuroboss. Elagos! Oh well. Alright, Heretic's defeated. We have to get two god tiers this time. Let's go ahead and give one of the god tiers to uh, Arceus here. Uh, go ahead and skip it. Talisman Beast. I believe there's only like one more fleece I haven't unlocked yet. And 
then for his other one, he gives me another talisman piece. Alright, so I need two more to unlock one of the other places. Quadro's all of a sudden over there! <laughs> Gold bars, so there we go. And also, let me just clean up a little bit. Ooh, some devotion boom. Nice. Go ahead and fill this up again. Yeah, the fertilizer storage definitely needs to be something I need to do. Also, do I have what it takes to upgrade the uh, temple again? Yes, I do. So, the Stone Nine Cobb Crystal Beneath. New decorations. So that's statues and candles. Nice. Ooh, it seems I unlocked something down below. Aesthetics of nature. For those who worship the natural world. Oh, cool. That actually looks more like Team Aqua, considering they're kind of naturalists. Anything else I need to see about the Doctrine? Uh, just get rid of those exclamation points, mostly. Alright. So yeah, we got to upgrade the temple again, just to finish it all off. So new covering and new icon. Awesome. So now that we've done that, I think this is a good place to end this off here. So, next time on Cults of the Lamb, we're going to continue collecting sin here in the cults so that we can keep upgrading the temple, and hopefully we'll be able to unlock the drink house in the next episode too. See you guys on the other side. Say goodbye, lamb. <laughs>